Once you create a transcript inside of Premiere Pro, the search bar is so clutch because now you can always just find what you're looking for within what your interview subjects or what the people on screen are saying. So say for example, I have this video in a coffee shop and I want to make a social cut of this video that's just about how they're serving the community. All I have to do is here under transcript, there's a search bar. I'll just type in the word community and there we go. It highlights every instance of the word community. So I can just go straight to that point in time and see what they were saying. I don't even have to play back through it because I can see it visually. The transcript is right there. If you wanna collaborate with a team or archive your project, you can save this as a Premiere Pro transcript file by going to the three dot menu and selecting export transcript. And here you can give it a file name and it saves as a Premiere Pro transcript. However, you cannot upload that as a file. Let's say you want a transcript file to YouTube, right? For that, you're going to need an SRT. So to generate an SRT, just click create captions. You can create captions from the sequence transcript, which I'm going to do in this case. I will set the caption preset and the format to the default settings, as well as the style, because I have not designated a style yet. I can also set the maximum length in characters, which I'll do the maximum, the duration in seconds, make sure that there's no gap between my frames. And I actually want this to be a single line caption. You can see now that it's all been split up into shorter pieces for the captions and on the three dot menu, you can now export as an SRT. An SRT is basically a text file that is readable by the internet at large. So if you upload it as a little sidecar metadata file to the back end of YouTube or to the back end of Facebook, then people can choose to enable the subtitle on their video using the CC button. Thank you.